Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we have seen how to send the props data to the actions we have seen, right? Now, in this video, we will try to see about the selectors. So, wha wha what is the selector? And wha how what is the advantage of using the selectors? We will try to see in this video. Now, if you try to see here, the counter is there. That means nothing but the, the state, whatever the state you are having. Let me close these all things. Okay, so now if I open the counter.state.es, here we are having only the counter, only the counter, only one data is there. Now let's see, I am adding some value of text, okay, some string. I am adding some text of type string. Here I need to add text. It should be of something like Leela web dev. I am using like this Leela web dev. So the, we are having one another another data is nothing but the some showing that uh, uh, what I can say is text we will say text or we will say channel name or what are the thing what are the whatever thing you want you can name here channel name okay so this is the another one we are having the data now if you want to we, we want to see this data so let's try to do whatever what uh, what here in the custom counter input.es let's go to the custom counter input.es and let's take the channel name of type string Okay, I want to show the channel name in the custom input counter, this component. Now I took the channel name string and here I can go to the ng on init. And what I can do here, this dot store dot, say as we have already discussed, this dot store dot select. And what is the name we need to use? Counter, okay, dot subscribe. So we will try, we will write using the subscribe and we will get the data. And here I can do this dot channel name is equal to data dot if you keep dot you will be able to get the two type two data so whatever the data is present in the counter state so in this counter state we right now we are having two things counter and channel name so now i am getting this data dot channel name okay now i want to show this channel name here so i can go into this html and I, at the top what i can do is so here view class is equal to my3 or and here I can show channel name. Okay, so fine. So far, so good. Now, if I try to refresh here, we will be able to see the Leela web dev, the channel name. So this is getting this is you need to remember that this is coming from the state. So this is coming from the state, that too from the counter state. Okay. Now what I will try to do is let's go to the counter output co component at ES and I will try to remove these all the observables. Okay, so let's try to write with the subscribe basis only counter number and here i will try to remove this one all and here what i will try to read this dot store dot select dot subscribe okay and here what i will try to do data and here this dot counter is equal to data dot if you see channel name and counter we are coming we are taking only the counter why because the count we need only the counter data dot counter and here in the html if you go into this html i can remove these all async thing async and i can directly use the counter if we try to see the output here so now refresh got an error not a problem let's refresh it okay we got the four and increment decrement everything is working fine if i try to enter the four here so everything is working fine but we are using the subscribe principle so you know you need to remember that you need to unsubscribe this one also but i am showing you one downgrade of this one so that is the reason i have written so here we have written we are having the two subscripts that is subscribing to the counter in this subscription what it is trying to get is we it is getting to get the channel name and in this subscription it is getting the counter okay now what i will try to do is in this html i will create one variable one button and this button button on click okay on click i will change the text okay so I, I need to change the text on change text okay this is the method now here let's go here what i need to do i will write a method so now i need to change this channel name so sorry not text right on change channel okay on change channel name so here i can go here and i can change it here so i need to change the channel name how i can change the channel name so it is present in the state so let's try to create an action here so export constant 
change channel name okay so i can create action so you need to write the unique identifier i am writing unique identifier okay so let's try not try to send the data so just i will change it to some modifier or something so let's go to the red user and here we are having so now on change channel name sorry on change channel name so action we need to import it from the action and here you will be getting the state and you need to immutably we need to return the state first then after only we need to change so what are what the data i need to change channel name channel name what i will change is modified okay lila web dev so i will change like this for the time being so now what we have did so now upon clicking on this button so we have written a action the change channel name action and so that whenever this action is called immediately the red user this method will be executed changing the channel name to modify lila web dev what i will try to do now i need to call this action so where i will try where, where i need to call here upon clicking on this button this method in this method so what i will write what i will write is this dot store dot dispatch and here i can write change channel name this is the method only right this is the action method okay so now here we have changed the name now on change channel name we have kept right now let's go to the output and let's try to see the output here if I oh we didn't give the name of for the button name right change channel okay now if I click change channel so now if I click on change channel modified relative has been changed in state now see what I will try to do is now here if you go into the into the custom input counter so here we are subscribing right so let's try to print the console.log so now mm, channel name observable call okay so here upon changing this counter this observable is fired right so now if i try to refresh this one now if i click here if i click on this change channel so channel name observable call so that is, so that means this observable is called so that is the reason so this channel name is automatically is updating because of the state change when the state is changed immediately this counter subscription is calling and the channel name is changing fine it's fine perfect but it's nice so now what i will try to do is now here i will go to the counter.html and in this counter.ts and here i will try to do the console here and here the counter should be called okay so here we call the counter now what i what now what is the Thing it will be happening now if i try to refresh this page okay i refresh this page now if i click on the cha change channel so so now what is the data what is the state data it is changing it is changing only the channel name state only is changing so that means only the this observable only the observable which is involving the channel name it has to fire this one only now th there is no need to fire this counter why because we are not updating any counter now when we are updating the counter so there is no need to fire this channel name why because we are not updating the channel we are updating only the counter let's try to see the output here if i try to refresh and if i click on channel okay see the counter counter is calling and also the channel observable is calling channel name observable is calling means okay why because we are changing the channel name so that is the reason it's observable call what is the reason our counter is calling so there is we are not updating any counter data but still the counter is calling now if so okay fine let's leave i am updating the counter so if i am updating the counter see what is what it is telling so counter is observable is calling so that means counter is up, the counter is updated so counter observable call fine but the channel is a channel name observable is calling there is no nothing to do with the channel name why because we are not updating the channel name but we are updating only the counter but the channel is calling so if i click on counter if I click on counter all the time so the channel name is also calling we are calling only the we need to call only the counter who is who who needs the counter variable only we need to call here we are not at all concerned about the counter we are concerned about the channel name only and in the here in the same place here we are not at all concerned about the counter uh, sorry channel name we are concerned about the counter only but if i am trying to update the channel name also if i try to refresh this one if i click here in the change channel so i am not at, at all concerned about the counter why because i am not updating the counter 
if i click here the counter is also calling so this is this is this cost a performance issue why because now now this in this way we are having only some little bit of logic only but if you are using so much of logic and if you are having so many places if you are referencing means so there will be a so much of performance issue so if if you if anything if any data if any data in the state so now here we are having only in the custom.state.es here we are having only the two two properties only tomorrow if your project is very big you will be having lots of data so that means if any single data is changed automatically so the uh, the counter state the counter state whoever is calling in all the components the observable will be fired so this could this should not happen why because we have changed only the counter means so the component whoever is whoever is asking about this counter only those observables only should be fired if you are changing the channel name means the components who are responsible for updating this channel name those those components only should react so uh, uh, the components which are having this counter should not react until and unless they they are they are exporting this all state but they doesn't they doesn't want this all counter and all those data they concern only with the channel name so that means whenever the channel name is changed means so they need to those those components only should react which needs the channel name only so the counter they all the things we, who are asking the components they should not bother about this one but here what is happening in our scenario in our scenario every each one is calling okay so what now when you are clicking on add to counter if i click here here the channel name is also calling so there is nothing to do with the channel so this this is the reason so this this is the thing so now when the uh, create selectors will come into place here the create selector so what it will do is we will create a create selector so that so whatever the data we are using so those data only it will be useful so let's try to see how to create the selectors and how to create the feature selectors in the next video so i think you understood about the downside of uh, calling this select of counter and also here the problem is you will be able to see another problem what you'll be able to see so here we are calling directly the string directly we are calling like this directly the string name so this tomorrow if anything changes we need to change everywhere so whoever is referencing this one we need to change it everywhere so in order to not to change the uh, in order to not use the string so we uh, we can use the selectors create selectors and all the things we'll see we'll try to see how to create the selectors in the next video so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.